So the Windsor update for FM22 has been out for a little while and whilst it does make tweaks to the match engine and fixes some bugs that were existing in the game, the big purpose of the Windsor update for Football Manager is the player database changes. As well as updating the database with all of the transfers that happened over the winter period in real life, it also makes some tweaks and changes to players' current and potential abilities based on their performances from real life. So for example, take Manchester United. Ronaldo has had a big hit to his current ability. He's gone down quite significantly in terms of current ability, whereas Alanga, also at Man United, who's had a pretty decent start to the season, has had an increase in his current ability. The winter update also adds new players to the database as well, notably players who were too young to be added to the database right at the start of FM22 because of licensing issues. The most high profile case of this in recent years was actually in FM21 when Makoko was added to the database. As well as adding new players, it does also tweak potential abilities as I said before, so essentially what this means is new wonder kids are in the game. So in today's video I have created a so in today's video I have created a shortlist of nearly 3,000 players who could be good enough to play in the Premier League. Emphasis on the could. That's all to do with players' potential ability ranges, but we'll talk more about that in a moment's time. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get this working in your save files. So all you have to do is watch the video, watch the tutorial, and then you can scout nearly 3,000 wonder kids to see how good they could be in your save. Towards the end of this video, I'll show you exactly how you can get this shortlist into your game so you can start scouting these players out for your team to build for the future. But in return for me providing a list of nearly 3,000 wonder kids for you, how about a like on the video, a subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment down below letting me know which players you think you'll be signing. So before we go into the list, let's talk about potential ability ranges, because this is quite a big and important topic when talking about young players in FM. So young players are given a potential ability range in Football Manager. If you look into the pre-game editor or you read articles online, you'll often see young players' potential ability being talked about in minus numbers. When you start up a new save file, the game code will read these minus numbers and then randomly assign each player a potential ability within the range assigned to that minus number. I'll get them on screen right now so it's much easier for you to understand. Potential ability in Football Manager goes from 0 to 200, with obviously 200 being the very best, 0 being, well, don't bother playing football essentially. And these minus numbers translate to minus 10 being potential ability range of 170 to 200, at minus 95 is 160 to 190, and so on so forth all the way down. For me, this achieves three main things in Football Manager. One, each save is absolutely unique because each player is given a random potential ability, then each different save file is different. Number two, it means you can't rely on the same players in every single save file. For example, if you have a player with a potential between 120 and 150, one save file, that 150 potential ability is good enough for the Premier League. In a different save file, that player has got 120 potential ability that's good enough for a top end league one, maybe low end championship club. And number three, it adds some realism to the game. No one knows exactly how good these players are going to be in the future. And that's reflected in the game. How many times have you looked back or seen pictures of, for example, uh, in 2010, they predicted the best footballing 11 in the world for 2020. And you look at the list and think, I've never heard of half these players because they had tons of potential at the start, but never realized it. So just like in real life, Football Manager is also trying to kind of simulate a little bit that players with big potential might not always make it. And so if we jump in game, there are three players who currently have a minus 10 potential ability. The first one is of course Makoka. We spoke briefly about him earlier on. The striker from Dortmund, 16 years old, but he is given a potential ability of between 170 and 200. So some save files, he could be 200 out of 200. Others, he could be 170 or anywhere in between. Kamavinga has also got a potential ability of 200. Again, another great centre midfielder slash CDM, a little bit older than Makoko, so his starting current ability is a little bit better as well. But again, he's got great potential ability. And then the other player with a minus 10 potential ability is Mariba, and I'm not entirely sure he had it in FM21. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I knew that Kamavinga and I knew that uh, Makoko did in FM21. Not sure if Mariba did, but here we go. He's got minus 10 potential ability. But to demonstrate that potential ability range right now, I've highlighted all three of the players with minus 10 potential ability. Now, right at the top is Mariba with 191 potential ability in this save file. That's what he was randomly assigned. Makoko was randomly given 178, so actually on the low end of his potential ability. But it's poor old Kamavinga 
Kavinga down here, who's been given 172, just two above the floor of what a potential ability could be. However, that's just confined to this save file, a different save file, they could theoretically all have 200 current ability. So before I show you how to get this, so before I show you how to get the shortlist into your saves, there's a few players that I do want to briefly touch on that you may have heard of before, but you may also not have heard of before, and you might want to know about. The first one is Samuel Ritchie. I mean, I'm English, my pronunciations are terrible for everything, so um, please don't get too cross with my pronunciations in this video. But uh, Samuel is a centre midfielder currently playing for Empoli with a potential ability of minus nine, which is very, very high and can be available pretty cheap if you get a good timing on the deal. So definitely a player to look out for, in my opinion. Another player with minus nine potential ability is Jao Pedro at Watford. And again, he can be available pretty cheap in the game, given that Watford's starting position is not that strong in the game. So if you've got a bit of money to spend, Jao Pedro is a very good player to pick up with a minus nine potential ability. Now, I mentioned players that were newly added to the game. Well, this is one of them, Rooney, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the surname because I will mess it up completely, but a 15-year-old right winger currently playing for Copenhagen has got a potential ability of minus 85. That means in some save files he will be 140 potential ability, in others 170 potential ability. And if he's at the up end of that scale, you've got a fantastic player on your hands. And with an in-game age of 15, born in 2005, wow, that makes me feel old. You've got plenty of time to develop him into the player you want him to become. Another right winger, but this time with a left foot. So you can retrain to play on the left-hand side of the pitch or as an inside forward, whatever you want to do. He's 15 years old. You've got a long time to develop him. Uh, Matias Goncalves is currently playing for Flamenco right now. He looks like another great player for the future as well. Also with a potential ability of minus 85. Now for one of the best keepers on this list with a potential ability of minus eight, which is 130 to 160 in terms of potential ability. We've got Ferran. And again, it's a surname that I, I'm not even going to try and you know pr try to pronounce because I will butcher it completely and uh, I can't be offending everyone here in today's video but a young keeper currently at Mallorca if you can get a save file with him with great potential ability he could end up being one of the best keepers in the game if he reaches that 160 potential ability and finally Anderson Arroyo a young centre-back currently playing in Colombia and again his potential ability is actually minus 75 so 120 to 150 so you've got a big swing in difference there for how good he could be but if you find him on the upper end of your potential ability scale then this guy could be absolutely fantastic a young 16 year old Colombian player with a left foot which is fantastic and available very very cheap if you pick him up early you've got nothing to lose so let's talk about installing this shortlist then and it's super simple to install First of all, what you want to do is go onto the FM22 Steam Workshop, type in TomFM, and then it's right here. For whatever reason, I can't seem to update the thumbnail for it. If I click on it, you can see the thumbnail is there, but on the actual list, it's, it's not there. Alternatively, I've got a link to this page in the description as well, so just click that one if you want. Then what you want to do is click subscribe, and that adds it to your game. Also, whilst you're on this page, uh, do me a favour, press the like button, and I'll also press favourite as well. That way more people will see the shortlist as well and get these good wonder kits. Then you want to open up Football Manager 2022, of course. Now this shortlist will work in any save file, but to get the full benefits, what you want to do is have a save loaded up with the new winter update. So when you go to create a new save file, you can see in the top right corner here, 2022.3.0, that is the winter update. You can always, if you want to, revert back to the default Football Manager database from launch but you know I have the winter update right now. It's also worth noting that when I created this database I had all 441,510 players loaded into a save file. That gave me the 2,900 or so wonder kids that you can have in the game. Obviously there won't be that many in your game because you won't have all 441,000 players loaded into it. To make sure you get a decent number of players in your databases though, always make sure that you make a custom database, not small, medium or large. Always go to advanced and add in exactly what you want there. Once you're in your game, navigate to your scouting menu, then go to shortlist and then click this cog in the right hand side of the screen. Then go to load or import shortlist and it should be exactly right there for you. Then you'll have a list of up to 2,900 wonder kids in the game that you can scout and search through to find the next big thing for your team. So hopefully you've learned something today, hopefully you've gained something from this video. If you have, make sure you do drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, have a lovely day. I'll see you all soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.